creating a stop action at the end of your flash movie will prevent it from looping at all, ever. To create this stop action, what you want to do first is go ahead and create a new layer in your movie and name it actions. It's always a good practice to keep your actions on a separate layer from the rest of the layers in your movie. So you can see down here in my timeline that I have actions as a new layer at the top of all of my other layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the last frame of my movie, which looks like it's approximately 230. So what I'm going to do is move out to frame 230 and click on that frame. And I have an empty keyframe here. If you don't have an empty keyframe on this layer, go ahead and hit F6. That'll create an empty keyframe for you where you want to put your action. And to place the action, what you can do is go to your actions panel. So up at the top left, I have my actions panel in here. If you don't see your actions panel, you can go to your window drop down menu and select actions from the list. In your actions panel in the editor, all you're going to do is type stop, open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. And that's your stop action. That's all you need to do. I'm going to close my actions frame just by double clicking the tab. And you can see that the action has been placed in frame 230. There's a lowercase a now in my empty keyframe. I can save these changes and now I'm ready to publish my movie. And that's all I need to do to add a stop action to the movie itself.